tonight. A Clifton man charged with the murder of his girlfriend making his first court appearance today. Dwight Osgood Jr. appeared in a Penobscot County Superior courtroom charged with shooting and killing Carrie Dill found dead inside of their home on Monday morning. New Center Maine Samantha Sugarman joins us now with what happened in court. Sam. Amanda, Osgood's initial court appearance today was brief. He did not enter a plea and only spoke through his attorneys. Still, it's the first time we're seeing him since his girlfriend was found shot to death in their home. He tried hiding from the cameras, but there's no hiding from this. Charged with murder, Dwight Osgood Jr., known to most as Jay, making his first appearance inside a Penobscot County Superior Courtroom. She always put a smile on your face. Marie Georgie and Sandra Reed are remembering their friend of four years, Carrie Dill. Dill was found dead Monday morning at the Clifton home she shared with Osgood. Her friends now feeling the guilt of not being able to do more to save her. She was the one to help everybody who needed the help. Apparently we weren't there to help her. Emotions running just as high inside the courtroom as out. Angry, sad really wanted to look at him and asked him why she was such a good person. She didn't deserve this at all. Judge William Anderson saying there is sufficient evidence pointing to Osgood. I would state for the record that I've been provided an affidavit in this case and I've reviewed the affidavit and I do find there is probable cause to believe uh, that the defendant committed the offense. The state asked for the details in those court documents to be kept from the public, which the judge approved. Friends were hoping more questions would be provided in court Wednesday. You don't know what she went through that night. What did she go through? Did, was she fighting for her life? That's not fair for anybody. There was some discussion about when Osgood's next court appearance should be, though no date has been set, and Osgood continues to be held without bail tonight. I'm Samantha Sugarman. Amanda, I'll send things back to you. All right, thanks, Samantha.